Meet Natasha. She is here to meet with her rheumatologist. Natasha has been living with lupus for 10 years. She is currently pregnant, but she is nervous. As can happen very early in pregnancy for women with or without lupus, her first pregnancy resulted in a miscarriage in the first trimester. She is concerned that this pregnancy will have the same result. Hi, Natasha. How you doing? I heard the good news. Congratulations. I'm doing all right. Yes, my OB, Dr. Woods, who you recommended, says I'm 10 weeks pregnant. I'm really nervous that I'm going to have another miscarriage. I feel good about this pregnancy because I haven't had a lupus flare in more than six months, but I'm still nervous. I'm hoping we can talk about it today. Yes, of course we can talk about it today. Can you share with me what happened with your previous pregnancy? How far along were you? It was three years ago. I was about six weeks along, and when I visited the obstetrician, there was no heartbeat. Thank you for sharing. I want to reassure you that pregnancies for women with lupus who are stable with minimal to no disease activity are usually successful. And it's great that your lupus has been under such good control in the last couple of years. I'm glad you came in today so we can continue to talk through your plan. Let's talk about your medications. I see that you're currently taking hydroxychloroquine and naproxen. I know we've been planning for this pregnancy, which is why we made the decision to stop belimumab earlier this year because your lupus was so well controlled. So we discussed you should continue taking hydroxychloroquine because it's safe to take during pregnancy and in breastfeeding. We're going to stop the NSAID you're taking, naproxen. Should you have a lupus flare, we can also add prednisone, but only if needed ideally less than 20 milligrams a day. In addition, we strongly recommend that patients with lupus who are pregnant take low-dose aspirin, which is 81 milligrams, which is sometimes called baby aspirin, to prevent a problem that can happen during pregnancy called preeclampsia, where the blood pressure rises and protein can appear in the urine. Are you taking any other medications or supplements like prenatal vitamins? Yes, I am taking prenatal vitamins like my OB Dr. Woods recommended, and I am still on hydroxychloroquine. Of course, I will let you know immediately if I have a flare. I can start to take low-dose aspirin as well. Yes, it will be important for you to let me know immediately if you have a flare while you're pregnant. Natasha goes on to have a successful pregnancy with the coordination of her rheumatologist, OB, and maternal fetal medicine doctor. They took a number of important steps to get there, which included Natasha's lupus remaining stable with minimal to no disease activity, and she was on medications safe for pregnancy at the time of conception. She and her doctor reviewed medications that were safe during pregnancy, her labs and risk factors for high-risk pregnancy, and she maintained close communication with her providers.